Welcome to Look Ahead. This short induction video tells you a bit more about the organisation and what your role entails. We have been operating for over 40 years. We started by providing homelessness services across London. Today, our services have grown. Our mission is to work with people, to make choices, achieve goals, and take control of their lives through high quality care, support, and housing. You may be joining a local service or be part of a central services team. Wherever you work, you are part of a bigger organisation. We have over 110 services across 30 local authorities and more than 1,000 staff. Every year, we touch the lives of some 7,000 people. I'm Chris Hampson, Chief Executive of Look Ahead. I've been here for over 15 years now. A Look Ahead are a specialist housing association. Um, we're one of the few in the country that just provides support for vulnerable people with all our housing. And our core client groups are mental health, people with learning disabilities, the homeless, uh, and young people, particularly people leaving care. There's great career opportunities for people at Look Ahead. It's a dynamic organisation. It's, it's an organisation that's continually evolving and moving forward. We work across four client groups, and because we work across four client groups, it gives people lots of opportunities to work with different clients and move across the organisation. But because of the size of the organisation, it also gives people promotional opportunities to move up the, up the ranks, to manage large teams, and to get more involved with the running of the organisation. Well, over the recent years, Look Ahead is working with, with ever more vulnerable people, with people who are further up the acuity scale. And this means that we have to work much more closely with the NHS, with adult social care, we work with community mental health teams, social work teams and clinicians. And this is quite exciting and provides opportunities for people to develop their career and Look Ahead and move across to the NHS. Our values underpin everything we do. We've got four core values of excellence, trust, partnership and aspiration. And we mean those. These are not just four words that we write down on a piece of paper. These are values that we came up after lengthy discussions with our, with our customers, with our staff and with our board. And we want to live and breathe those values. And I believe we do live and breathe those values in the work we do every day. I have the pleasure every quarter of hosting our Upper King's Buildings, our Recognition Awards. And these are a recognition of the hard work that staff do on a day-to-day -day basis. Staff that are going above and beyond, are going the extra mile. And this is an important uh, event that we have four times a year to recognise that work. And I hope to see some of you there in the future. I think for us as an organisation, providing just an OK service is, is never just OK. We want to go above and beyond that and ensure at all times that we're providing an excellent service to our customers because that's what they expect. And ultimately, we're here as an organisation to, to help improve the lives of those customers. Getting customer feedback is important because we need to know how to improve and without their feedback, we have no way of knowing how to move forward. Look Ahead can be aspirational by talking to our customers, you know, finding out what works and what doesn't, continually improving our services. It's about recognising that people are assets and not liabilities and that they have something unique to offer that can help the organisation work in the most efficient and successful way. Trust is vitally important. I can say that from my own experience of being a Look Ahead customer and at a point which was the worst in my own life, needing to trust the support staff. It's really important that the customer has that trust with the staff, the support workers. It's very important to be able to go to the staff 
if you do have a problem, you don't feel closed in and you feel that you're open to go to the staff and discuss that with the staff. It's really crucial that we do what we say we're going to do and that we're reliable um, because actually if we don't then we're just kind of reiterating the pattern that you can't trust people um, and ultimately I think that has a huge impact on their, their self-esteem and what they feel that they're able to achieve. If you're a support worker or within the operations team, your role will probably include four key aspects. These are policy and procedures, support and risk planning, staying on top of finances and working with housing management. Alongside this, you're also expected to look after and develop yourself so that you can enjoy your time at Look Ahead. We have a whole range of policies and procedures that you'll have to be aware of and work within. This includes a range of topics from safeguarding, medication and finance through to HR. All of these can be found on our intranet, the hub. When you start, you'll be given a login. You should log in every day to check your emails, look at the intranet to see what's happening around the organisation. This is also how you access IT help. You'll also be given a phone number. When you are logged in on the system, you must also log into your phone. Remember to check your voicemail and always answer the phone promptly. I'm a customer of Ed Rules of Call. Uh, I was homeless for about four years and I come from another hostel to this hostel. I just got out of hospital with sepsis and uh, I was using drugs prior to that and they've really helped me come off drugs and helped me in my change of life. It's really good, yeah. And here, they work with you as much as they can and try and give you as much support as they can. I think new support workers should be kind, upfront, uh, patient and kind and caring. My name is Angelina Morgan and I'm a Head of Operations in Look Ahead. I work in the Mental Health Directorate. Our customers in Look Ahead are some of the most vulnerable people in our societies. Uh, they often come with very complex needs and have often experienced trauma in their lives. Uh, this normally can manifest itself through emotional behaviours that our staff have to manage on a daily basis. Our support workers uh, are responsible for working with customers and building relationships that are built on trust and respect. We really like to treat our customers as equals in the care and support that they receive from us. All our support staff are responsible for working with customers uh, to create risk management plans. Risk management plans are really an essential part of the support that you provide as a support worker. Within a risk management plan, you'll cover um, things, for example, like historical risks pertaining to an individual, as well as considering what perhaps their current risks are and how that risk um, correlates with the support that you're providing. And sometimes they're, they're difficult conversations, but it's important as support staff that you feel you have the skills to be able to do that, that we don't ignore those conversations. And a lot of that is built on relationships, um, building those relationships, those trusting relationships with customers so that they, they feel confident to open up to you as their support worker. So yeah, we have to have those difficult conversations, but we also have to um, acknowledge that people have um, their own aspirations. Um, and whilst they're in a vulnerable or crisis situation now, it doesn't mean that their life can't progress into other areas. Fundamentally, at Look Ahead, we are all here to support our customers. Managing the quality of our services is essential. It keeps us and our customers safe, gives our customers a good chance in life and helps us to retain and win new services. We all have a part to play in this every day, so always think about what you do. Internally, we have our own team who conduct audits and we measure standards on a regular basis. How do we do this? Well, services are rated A, B, C or D. A is outstanding. 
This means a service has gone beyond the expected standard and can demonstrate innovative practice. This may include co-produced work or close partnership working. B is good. This means a service is meeting the expected quality standards. C is requires improvement. This means a service can show it is partially meeting expected quality standards, but it needs to improve in consistency over time to be rated as good. D is inadequate. This means a service is not even partially meeting the expected quality standard. We have very few services in this category. In addition to our own internal audits, some services are regulated by the Care Quality Commission or other external bodies and as a housing provider, we are regulated by Homes England. Another part of everyone's role is protecting the financial sustainability of the organisation. My name is uh, Guy Robinson, I'm the Director of Housing and Support for Look Ahead. My role involves a number of things actually, but primarily I look after our homelessness and young person services and I also look after our property and landlord functions. Finance is key in, every, in everybody's role within the organisation, whether you're a support worker or whether you work at our head office. That could be in terms of collecting um, rent for, for a property someone's living in. Um, it could be just ensuring the, the contract viability within the, within the service, but it's absolutely everybody's job. You as our support workers play a really, really important part in, in rent. Um, all of our customers are uh, living in accommodation-based services. One of the primary things that we teach them when, we're, when they're with us is to um, pay for their accommodation. So um, it's absolutely a key part of your role. I've been working in the sector now for nearly 20 years. And when I was a support worker, I remember back then there was always the tension or this feeling of how can I talk to customers about owing money when I'm also talking to them about some of their maybe difficult, very care and support needs. But as I've gone on and on in my career, become more and more convinced that if there's one thing we can teach our customers while they're with us it's the importance of paying rent. Um, it enables them to, to budget better. I suppose more, most importantly it means that when they move on they're not in arrears and they've got options available to them whether that's in the private sector or other accommodation based sectors so um, it's absolutely top of the list in my view. So as a support worker you can find information uh, about rent on our, on our intranet. We've got an income collection toolkit, we've also got an income collection policy um, you will also be able to get information through, through the induction process and through training and through additional training if that's needed. And of course you can also come and speak to myself or any of my colleagues. So I've been at Look Ahead for nearly eight years. I, didn't, I wasn't planning to stay here that long when I came. I thought it would be fairly short, but I've, I really have had a fantastic career at Look Ahead. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the challenge. I've enjoyed the variety within my job. Uh, and to all you people starting out in your, in your first week, um, I hope that you have a career and a challenge as, as exciting as the one that I've had and I really do wish you all the best uh, with your time at Look Ahead. A well-maintained, safe and happy place to live is the foundation we provide to help our customers recover and move on with their lives. Part of this will involve working closely with our colleagues in housing management. Some of you may even be joining this team. There are clear lines of things that you are responsible for and that the housing management team looks after. So what are they? Well, as a support worker, you'll be dealing with things like supporting customers through support plans and risk plans, recording ID and proof of income, helping customers apply for benefits and making sure they have the right benefits, using the income collection toolkit, monitoring our housing management system which is called CX, helping customers with budgeting or attending appointments, and reminding customers about rent payments. An essential part of your role will include dealing with empty rooms or properties, or voids as they are known in housing. You will learn more about this in your service. The housing management team looks after advising support workers, monitoring our internal housing system, which is called CX, rent agreements at a higher level, issuing warning letters and notices, estate inspections for unsupported housing, antisocial behaviour or neighbourhood disputes, subletting. They also attend bailiff appointments and go to court if we are evicting someone. This is always a last resort. 
You could be joining one of the central services teams. They are based at our central office in Westminster and, while you may not regularly be in touch with them, they do a lot of work behind the scenes to keep Look Ahead running. The Human Resources Department, HR, are often the first point of contact for many staff inquiries. They look after recruitment, payroll and much more. Health and safety is also a part of HR. The Learning and Development team leads on ensuring staff are inducted and have access to a range of learning and development opportunities. The Communications team is responsible for the delivery of Look Ahead's marketing and communication strategy. The Finance team is responsible for making sure that high quality financial reporting, processing and controls are in place across all of our sites. The IT team leads on all aspects of IT delivery and strategy. The Governance and Performance team produces lots of performance data for internal and external reporting. They also look after the Revo and SIMS systems. The Safeguarding and Quality team is responsible for the quality management system, including carrying out audits. The Business Development team works very closely with operations staff to improve existing and develop new service offers for commissioners and local authorities. They also work closely with the property service team to source property and ensure that we have the facilities and buildings for our services. The last three teams are the board, the senior leadership team and the senior management team. The board sets the strategic direction of the organisation and holds the senior leadership team to account. The senior leadership team or SLT, is made up of the chief executive and a number of directors. They work with the board to make decisions about how Look Ahead is run. They are responsible for the operation of the business. The senior management team, or SMT, works with SLT to run the business. There are two operational directorates, housing and care and support, which cover all four of our customer groups. My name is Julie Blair and I'm the People Director at Look Ahead. So I look after all our people, uh, recruiting them, training them, looking after their careers, keeping them safe, health and safety, and also a bit around how we communicate and govern through the organisation. So I've been at Look Ahead two years now and what, I'm, what I love about it is the people and the culture, uh, what we're doing for our customers and how much goodwill there is in the organisation and how much people believe in the values. I think it's really, really great place to work. So one of the great things we can offer our staff is a great training package. And because we operate four specialisms, you can get different training for different areas of the business. Um, we have a really good induction, we have good technical training, um, and we have good mandatory training. So people really value that and they move around quite a lot. And we do grow our own people and a lot of people stay with us and have really good careers. We offer management development at Look Ahead. So we do a Women in Leadership Award. We do ILM up to five levels. So people can progress from a team leader right up to the senior leadership team. Um, and we have a good management development offer. Uh, we do look after our staff, want to look after our staff and keeping them safe and their well-being is a key theme for us because they work in quite stressful situations. Um, so we have a well-being app, we have um, tips for them on the internet. We offer counseling and support. We offer, um, reflective practice when there's been a traumatic incident and we like our managers to have a coaching approach onto how they manage their staff. So wellbeing is a big thing for us in our strategy. So Look Ahead work in a financially difficult climate, so we can't always offer people financial rewards, but we try and balance our pay offers and our bonuses with um, thank yous, um, award ceremonies based on the values, vouchers, um, some career development and different ways of rewarding people that people like. Um, you can buy annual, different annual leave, you can get membership to different organisations and discounts. So there's a range of things that we offer. So with regard to diversity and inclusion, we're currently refreshing our approach. We have got a genuinely diverse organisation, but we want people to feel comfortable with bringing them, their true selves to work. So there's quite a lot of uh, network groups that you'll see around the organisation that you can join. Um, and as a leadership team, we're really interested in people's thoughts and views around diversity and inclusion. So good luck everyone, welcome to Look Ahead. I think hopefully you'll have a long career with us. I'm sure I'll see you out and about. I uh, look forward to meeting you and see you soon.